Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks have started and it looks amazing, trainers. There's a lot of new Pokemon. We have the new Evolution leak. Oh my gosh, there is so much. Hi, trainers. I'm Teets. This is Nuts. And before we start, a quick disclaimer. These are just leaks and data mines, etc. So please take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes leaks are fake. Sometimes they're scrapped. And nothing is official until officially revealed by Pokemon themselves. These are all from Twitter as well. There are so many on Twitter. If you don't like spoilers, feel free to click off here because there will be a lot of spoilers. For the question of the day, are you going to get Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet? Let me know in the comments down below. I am going for Violet. I'm so excited for the game to come out. Okay, so this Pokemon apparently is Smoliv's evolution and I would like to apologize if I say anything wrong in this video, like pronounce anything wrong. Super sorry. It's a thing with me. I suck. I know. But this is apparently Smoliv's evolution. So this Pokemon is named Dolive and honestly this suits Smoliv super well. So Smoliv is like a little olive Pokemon. It's so cute. It looks like a little baby Pokemon. It is based on an olive. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, it is seems to be based on an olive. It's very adorable. And Dolive looks just as adorable as well. Dolive as an evolution to me suits Smoliv, so I actually like it. I would love to know in the comments down below what you think about this evolution. But for me personally, I actually like it. I think it looks really cool. I think it's very pretty. <laughs> okay, so the next one we have here is Taurus. So it's not what we're used to with Taurus. So Taurus usually has like the lighter brown fur, the dark brown mane. It has just more colors to it. But this Taurus, so this is probably the regional Taurus, is just completely dark, like completely black. Looks very shadowy. And to me, it looks like it's based off the Spanish fighting bull, which is a bull that's also completely black with white horns. It looks like it's just that, which is really cool. I think this regional variant looks super cool. I actually like it a lot. Definitely not what we're used to. Very, very different but i think it looks sick <laughs> i think it looks really sick we can see it here in battle right now and it's just i cannot wait to see this in game <laughs> that is crazy cool before we jump into Fukuku's evolution, I am planning to make a lot of Scarlet and Violet Pokemon videos. So if you can, subscribe and click the bell would be super helpful if, if you want more Scarlet and Violet content in your feed. As you can see, only around 50% of you are subscribed. If we could reach that number to 55%, that'd be super sick. And I want to see if we can make it. Okay, moving on. So we have Fukuku's evolution, the one that you probably clicked this video for, the one that you've been waiting for. So apparently its name is Krokalo or something, I can't say it. But here we have Fukuku's evolution. So you know for Coco, it looks like a tiny red crocodile. Kind of looks like an apple, like an apple crocodile, I guess. It's very adorable. A lot of people fell in love with it when they first saw it. Apparently, this is its evolution. So it just looks like a bigger for Coco with a hat. An older for Coco with a hat. And I think it looks cool. I think there are mixed responses to this. But personally, for me, I think it looks really cool. I actually like it a lot. This is just the middle evolution. So we don't know what the end evolution looks like. The second image we have is... Ayo, hey, Ayo, hey, well, this this looks kind of sus. <laughs> No, but seriously, this is Fukuoka from the back, I guess. That's the evolution. I would love to know in the comments down below what you think about Fukuoka's evolution, or at least the middle evolution. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I am still so curious to know what the end evolution is, what the final evolution looks like on Fukuoka for all of them. And it's just really cool that we get to see, you know, have an idea of where it's heading to or leading to for Fukuoka. For those who are planning to choose Fukuoka, I am planning to go Sprigatito, but I don't know if I will yet. I don't know, kind of leaning on to Quaxley now because Quaxley also looks really cool it's a really hard decision to be honest and then we have this image which is more new pokemon so we have two new pokemon in here that haven't been spoken about before i believe and we have a pokemon that's literally based on a flamingo but the wording is so cool it's called flamigo so it's like amigo which i believe in spanish is for friend please correct me if i'm wrong so instead of flamingo it's flamigo <laughs> like a friend and i really like that name i think it's so cute so it's a pink flamingo literally just a flamingo like <laughs> straight up a flamingo and the second one we have is Ferontula, which is based off a spider which is based off i don't want to show the image here because i think it's scary looking and i hate spiders based off a tarantula i'm guessing and can i just say as i am from australia we have a lot of spiders here so i don't think i will be picking up this pokemon i don't like spiders <laughs> i just 
can't handle them. So Tarantula looks like, you know, has the big white duck back. I don't know what to call that web stack. I don't know what they call it. And then it has like its yellow head, yellow legs, and then the green toes. It kind of looks kind of grumpy, at least from where I can see it. It is a little bit blurry, but I'm sure my editor will zoom in for you. It looks a little grumpy for me from where I'm like looking at. But yeah, those are the two new Pokemon that we have as well. So Flamigo and Tarantula. I really like the name Flamigo. I just can't. I like the name a lot. We also have this as well. So the leaker says it looks like a new Pokemon in the background. And some people have said that it just looks like Skorupi. Skorupi. So if I'm saying that wrong, which I think is like a Scorpion Pokemon. I'll let you decide because I have no idea. I don't know what that is. It could be a new Pokemon. It could be Skorupi. But that is what people are thinking at the moment. It's a very pixelated image. A bit hard to see. We also have some little bit of extra leaks. So we have like all the foods here and the cost of them. And can I just say that food in animes and in games and stuff just looks so much better than IRL. It's crazy how good food looks in animes. I had to stop watching this anime a while ago called Food Wars because the food looks so good that I just could not. <laughs> I was so hungry all the time watching that anime. I wanted to put that out there. A little bit off topic. We have this professor looking guy and I don't know what this says but the leaker says in quotation marks what does trolling mean? So apparently that's what he says. I have no idea. I cannot confirm but that is pretty funny. We also have the map. So some people have said that this map looks really small, but I would like to point out that this is just incredibly zoomed out. So it probably just looks really small because it's very zoomed out. It probably is a lot bigger. But we have like different biomes and things like that. So I cannot wait to explore this map. I, I'm so excited, trainers. You have no idea how excited I am. And for the last thing I want to do before we end the video, but if you want to click off, that's fine. Just please let me know in the comments down below what leak is your favorite and what do you think about Fukuoka's evolution? I would love to know. I actually haven't seen the new trailer for new Pokemon that Pokemon has shown. I, ha I haven't seen it, so we're gonna watch it. All right, so apparently it says you've been ambushed by Gimme Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul? That's a cute name. Gimme Ghoul. All right, let's have a look. I don't have... I have zero... <gasps> it's Lit Leo! Oh my gosh, I've never had a Lit Leo on my team, like, ever. Ever. Wait, this is the chest that they showed on the Pokemon Twitter. It's a Pokemon? Wait, the chess was a Pokemon? That's actually crazy the way they I, like the way they surprised us like that. It's a che a treasure chest Pokemon? It's the it's a ghost type. And this is it's one of its forms. So there's multiple forms or there's two forms? Oh my god. That is incredibly tiny. That is the tiniest Pokemon I've ever seen. Maybe, I don't know. That is so small. Wait, I love this picture. It looks like it's about to like throw its coin at someone. Like it's about... Wait, you can't even see it because my, I'm in the way. Look, it looks like it's about to throw something at someone. <laughs> it looks so menacing. But then you see this one and it's like so cute. This is actually adorable. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually so cute. Gimme ghoul. It's like gimme gimme. Like gimme gimme the treasure. Like gimme 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 the treasure. <laughs> that is adorable. I really like that. That what a unique way to show Pokemon. I feel like they're really hyping up the Pokemon in this in this gen, which is really awesome. All right, so that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, trainers. Again, I will be making a little Scarlet and Violet content, so please do subscribe to the bell to be notified for it. It would really help out the channel, and I would really appreciate it. And we can get to know each other, you know, like maybe a lot of you are new here and you don't know who I am, but I think we could get to know each other. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna jump up here. Thank you so much for watching, trainers. I hope to catch you for the next one. Bye.